from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now here's your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and after many travels around the globe with the Cube, really happy to be back in the Boston area studio, and happy to welcome to the program first-time guest and uh, first time we've had open link on the program, Rich Grassi, who's the CEO. Coming up from Long Island, uh, appreciate you joining me up here and uh, looking forward to discussing with you. Morning, Stu. So uh, first, uh, OpenLink, uh, uh, as I said, uh, company, first time we've had on theCUBE. Why don't you give our audience a little bit of background, how long the company's been in existence, and what the focus is. Well, we're celebrating uh, this year our 25th anniversary. Wow. Uh, so we serve the energy, financial, trading, and treasury markets. Uh, we're based in Long Island with offices around the world, serving about 500 clients or so. Um, in those different markets, and uh, happy to be here today and talk about some of the innovation that we have going on. Great, and before we get into OpenLink, Rich, g give us a little bit about your background. You, you've been with OpenLink for a, a good part of the journey. I have, I've been with the company for 21 years in a variety of different roles. Uh, spent some time in operations, in development. Uh, prior to the CEO position, I spent some time in operations, and prior to uh, this role, I was the CTO of the company. Okay, well, congrats on the new role, Thank Rich. You. And uh, so tell me, you know, what is OpenLink today? You talked about kind of the industries you focus on. You know, how do you fit kind of in, uh, the, you know, the, the, the markets today? So we are the market leader for the categories I mentioned. So we'll play in the energy and the commodity space. Uh, we'll play in the financial services, banking, treasury space. Um, we're well known for our risk management capabilities, and we serve top tier clients in all of those markets around the globe. Yeah, uh, Rich, it's it's interesting. I think there's not a single segment of the market that's not going through some significant change, you know, disruptions on everyone's Correct. mind. What's changing for your customers, and, and how is OpenLink uh, really kind of adjusting to kind of meet those needs? Yeah, it's always been a high degree of sensitivity towards risk. Um, that's been our, our strong point as a company for a long time, and we serve the clients through kind of advanced analytics that provide them with that capability. But more frequently, we're seeing um, total cost of ownership driving a lot of the decisions made by our clients, right? So in markets that, uh, that have some headwinds coming in and uh, in, in just kind of steady state markets, they're looking for how to use technology to benefit them, but also reduce the total cost of ownership. Okay, uh, so explain what the, that means. You say, you know, risk, things like analytics, you know, data, super important to all customers. Right. How do they make sure they have the right data? How do they make sure <laughs> that, that there, there's not uh, getting a tax on what they have? Uh, wh wh where, where does OpenLink help there? Uh, what, 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 what do the products look like? Yeah, so I mean, so yeah. we have a pretty advanced uh, trading and risk management platform. Um, we also provide treasury and cash management solutions. Um, and in those spaces, what we're doing is we're providing our clients with the ability to manage their risk, manage their positions, take a peek ahead to see what's coming in the markets, do sensitivity analysis to ensure that as they trade and as they transact, and to your point, as they manage the logistics, uh, it's all done with a, with a system capture from front to back, and it's all done with a view towards the risk of the application and the risk of the markets that they're in. Okay, uh, you had a recent launch uh, that was uh, open cloud. Maybe explain what that is, how that fits with kind of the, the broader discussion of cloud. Sure, I mean, OpenLink's been in the private cloud space now for about 11 years, so this was our hosting application. And through those years, we built up the technology to support more of the kind of online. So predominantly, we're a perpetual-based company on-prem, and now our clients are looking for a little bit more ownership, a little bit more security, um, and they're looking for that single vendor to manage their uh, applications within the cloud. So there's a big transformation in our markets where many of our large tier one energy and financial services clients are looking for that reduction of total cost, and they're looking for OpenLink to be the provider that can offer them that service within the cloud environments. Okay, so is this a SaaS offering? Is it living on some of the public clouds? Help, help us kind of get yeah. in the weeds a little bit. You're the you're former CTO. Sure, yeah. so I mean, it's, it's a similar technology to what we've built over the years. Yeah. So we're still managing scalability and performance. We still have great uh, security in the application still managing a lot of the monitoring and uh, logging and application security within that, um, but it is in the Microsoft Azure environment, so we're working with Microsoft, partnered with them, uh, to build up a, a cloud environment for our customers such that they can manage this remotely, um, as you would in any cloud environment, and then provide all the advantages of Microsoft Azure on top of the technology that OpenLink's built over time. Okay, so sounds uh, you know similar to what you were doing before, but but a lot of changes. How organizationally do you have to ch change for this? And you know maybe walk us through a customer. You know why would they choose one versus the other? Yeah. What, 
what are some of the kind of big advantages of the new way? Sure, so organizationally, uh, we do have cloud dedicated teams now, right? So a lot of uh, knowledge required to, to take your product uh, not only cloud enable it, but make it uh, feature functionality rich for the clients within the cloud. So we've built cloud operations teams, we've built SOCs and NOCs, uh, we leverage our, our employee base around the world, we've put a lot of technology um, advantages into the new software that's cloud enabled. So things like um, performance is, is just a big topic for us. So allowing our clients to drive greater performance through scalability uh, and dynamic scalability within the cloud. Uh, that's a big advantage to our clients. Yeah, uh, you think back a couple of years ago, if you talked about you know Microsoft and Google and, and the Amazons of the world, it was like, oh well, I'm worried about the security. Mm -hmm. Governance is challenging. Um, it, you know, I, I was just at one of the bigger cloud shows, and they say security is actually opportunity. You get to kind of get a redo on security. Uh, governance seems to be something that we're sorting through. What, mm -hmm. What's your customers' experience? Is there still hesitancy, or are people you know kind of jumping in the the water's nice? Well, I think I think there's there's still the question and I think it's changing very rapidly for our client base. So a couple years ago our clients were interested in the cloud but not necessarily moving to the cloud and I think you're absolutely right in the sense that some of them were uh, concerned about the security of their trading data being out in something like Microsoft Azure. Uh, many of them recognize today that the uh, security benefits of a Microsoft Azure, as an example, uh, could be far greater than what they're doing in-house today. And then as you look at the technology of OpenLink, we've built layers of security on top of everything that we've used to have within the core application, encryption and the like, um, and now using some of the, um, the key vault technologies and some of the scalability technologies of Microsoft Azure, we feel like we're able to provide a higher level of security than they even had on-prem uh, using the cloud application. Yeah, w w one of the other big advantages if you plug into kind of that ecosystem and platform of the public cloud, what opportunities there? I, you know, Microsoft, you think of like, you know, Active Directory, all of their business functionality. What do you gain today? And uh, maybe give us a little roadmap as to what this looks like uh, down the road. Yeah, so our clients are looking for uh, a handful of things, right? So they're looking for that reduction in ownership. We've been able to save them on average about 30% just coming from their on-prem or their data centers today. They're also looking for that single source of support. So today we're working with their network engineers and their DBAs. Uh, in the cloud version, we're able to provide them with those same services uh, coupled with our support applications so that we're, we're providing kind of single line of, of visibility into their overall uh, trading and risk management application. And they're also looking for performance, as I mentioned before, and security. So with the cloud application, we're not only able to provide them with the feature functionality of our application, but also the cloud technology that sits around it. Yeah, um, one of the other things, if you look at kind of managing the environment versus going to the public cloud, usually the public cloud, uh, you know, the joke I have is, hey, uh, what version of Azure are you running on? Right. Well, Microsoft takes care of that. Is similar thing in your environment? Very similar. Yeah. So, so the ability to upgrade, the ability to leverage the, uh, the scalability of Microsoft Azure, the new technology coming out with Microsoft Azure, uh, all the cloud feature functionality, that all comes with it for free. And then to your point, um, providing our clients with a managed service so that we can manage not only their day-to-day -day environment, but we can also manage the infrastructure and the business needs that they have in using our application. So all that combined has provided our clients with a, a great leg up in terms of how they use our software and how they manage it moving forward. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm curious, do the customers have to choose one or the other, the on-prem or the cloud? Do you have some customers that might be migrating me being to kind of the hybrid multi-cloud is uh, kind of a big issue for a lot yeah, of customers Yeah, so we have a large days. number of clients today that are still on-prem, and that'll probably stay on-prem for a while. Um, but the, the evolution of the cloud as it relates to our client base is, uh, is quite rapid. So a couple of years ago we would talk to our clients and they were interested. Uh, last year we announced our, uh, our uh, proof of concept coming in and what we were building. We launched our public cloud just in quarter three of this year. Uh, and the, the uh, feedback from our client base was dramatic. So now they're all looking to kind of migrate over. Uh, we, we, uh, we respond to RFPs quite often, and I would estimate maybe about 90% of those coming in have some interest in the public cloud moving forward. Okay, uh, Rich, what do you want your clients to really know about OpenLink? And uh, it, the two pieces, just kind of today, and if they knew OpenLink, say, five years ago, you know, what, what, what's, what's the big change? Yeah, I think, well, we have a tagline that says we like to solve the complex, right, and make it simple. So uh, you'll see many of our clients, some of the bigger named uh, uh, vendors that are out there, using our software to solve really complicated problems, right? So our software is pretty configurable um, and also addresses some of the larger challenges that we have within the spaces that OpenLink sits in. Uh, so our clients are well known in that, in that area and OpenLink is well known in, in their, our ability to solve those problems. When you take that 
and you take the total cost of ownership and you take the public cloud capabilities and you build all that technology that we've advanced over the past you know, 25 years, it's a pretty compelling application and, and company that we work for. All right, well, Rich, appreciate the updates on everything happening at OpenLink. Wish, wish you the best of luck uh, with, with the cloud offering. We'll be back with uh, more coverage here. Always check out theCUBE.net for all the coverage and thanks for watching this, theCUBE.